Hey, Brownhide fans, I'm Joel Guerin here with James <laughs> Templeton, who was our director of facilities and grounds, and we're going to talk to him about how he's keeping sane, not going too crazy with the stay-at-home order that all of California is dealing with right now, and now he's getting ready for the 2020 season. So, James, first of all, thanks for taking the time to FaceTime me. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so, what? how has your routine changed with having to stay at home, but you're able to still go to the field to get it ready, right? Yeah, so obviously a little bit, a little bit different than the normal season. Um, I, I'm still coming in here about every other day, three to four times a week. Um, stuff with the grass really doesn't change that much. We're still on the same programs with fertilizing, mowing, edging, um, keeping the weeds down, all that kind of stuff. So what changes now is just the, the maintenance, the mound, the plate, um, the, the high traffic areas around home plate in front of the mound and stuff. Uh, we won't have to sod those areas. We won't have to, you know, aerate quite as much with no traffic on the field. Um, and as far as like the mound and bullpens uh, and the clay, we'll, we'll wait until a little bit later on when we kind of have clarity of when we're going to open uh, before we get all that set. But, you know, the basic maintenance of mowing, edging, uh, fertilizing, that's all going to stay the same uh, regardless if we play or not. So Right. And so Ryan, your ops assistant, he's still able to come in and help you, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Ryan's coming in a couple days a week. Uh, he does a lot of the stuff around the ballpark, the grass seating area, um, you know, any, any of the rose bushes, trees, that kind of stuff. And then, you know, we're just going through and organizing everything, um, you know, trying to keep up with all of our, our fertilizers and what we have uh, and pushing our ordering stuff back to kind of see when, when we're going to play and when we have some clarity of what's going on, but making sure that the field's ready to go. Um, so when we do get that call that, that we're good to go and the players are ready ready to play. Awesome. So I know we know what's going on, but our fans probably don't know that we're redoing the entire bullpen, essentially, right? Or at least the pitching part of it, which to you is a lot of work. So tell us about that process. How's that going? Yeah, so in, in our home bullpen, um, the Diamondbacks want to be able to put cameras behind the pitchers. And currently between the pitching rubber and the wall, we only have about three feet. So we moved that forward uh, six feet to give them nine feet behind the mound, moved home plate back nine, nine feet. So um, that project was going really well. Obviously, the last couple of weeks, we kind of slowed down, um, and we, we pretty much just reclayed uh, the mounds, reset everything, reset the, the two pitching rubbers to the heights they need to be. Um, and so that will be finished here in the next couple of weeks. Um, once we have a better idea of when we're going to play, then we'll put the rest of that clay in and the finishing touches, but everything looks really good. And and uh, if, if we were to open on April 9th, we would have been ready to go with that, that new bullpen. So. Is it a little bit easier for you knowing that you don't really have that time crunch going on, that deadline, or is it kind of harder because you don't really know when we'll open? Yeah, I mean, there's give and take on both of that. You know, um, obviously having more time and having nobody on the field and nobody here, um, you know, makes makes my job easier. But at the same point, you know, not knowing when we're going to go, um, what we have to have ready. You know, we're just trying to get everything ready like we are going to open on April 9th. And, and then from there, just maintain everything until the players come to town and we, and we start playing games. Awesome. Final question regarding the field. Now, obviously, we're hoping that we'll be playing by the time those really hot summer months come. But in Visalia, it can get really hot in May. So I know that on those kind of game days, you would water two times or three times even before a game. Are you still going to be doing that even though there's not people on the field in April and early May? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, a lot of it, like you said, has to do with uh, the temperatures and where we're at. You know, grass-wise, we'll transition from uh, ryegrass to Bermuda once we get around 85, 90 degrees. And the sooner we can do that, the better. Um, because the Bermuda grass is the best in the summer, deals with the heat and the wear and tear. Uh, as far as the dirt goes in, in the infield mix, we'll still water that several times a day, spike it, keep it loose. Um, we won't have to do it as much because there isn't traffic there. A lot of the stuff we do is after they play a game, just repairing it so that they can play the next day um, on, on a good field that looks like no one's played on it. So uh, we'll still have to do some of the stuff, but the watering will definitely be down a lot until they get back into town and then we'll be back in our normal normal routine got it so 
kind of more personal questions now, which I'm sure you weren't expecting. <laughs> what are you doing to stay sane during this time where you have to stay at home? I know you're able to go to work a little bit and everything, but what are you and your family doing? Yeah, no, it's been been crazy time for everyone. Uh, we've been playing a lot more, a lot more board games. Um, I just recently bought a house. So I've been doing a lot of yard work actually at my own house, uh, which has kept me pretty busy. So, but yeah, just watching a lot of movies, a lot of good Netflix shows, and you know, just just trying to trying to get through it and coming to work. Like I said, about three times a week. So, um, hopefully, this all dies down in the next you know, next few weeks and we can go back to normal and get baseball going again. Awesome. Thanks, James. Are you ordering from the planning mill, stacked, barrel house, getting that beer to go and everything? All, I'm ordering from all of them. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks, James. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Jill. We'll talk soon. Bye. Bye.